it sort of adds to the mix uh, of entertainment options that you'll have on the boardwalk. An iconic Brooklyn destination known for the boardwalk, roller coasters, and for the food. A developer wants to add to the attractions of Coney Island with a $3 billion casino, indoor water park, hotels, and a museum. But now we have a true opportunity to have year-round economic development with jobs that actually last past the summer. According to the developer, Thor Equities, the Coney Island Casino would be paid for with private funding, not taxpayer dollars. And the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce believes the casino would be a jackpot for the neighborhood. The jobs and opportunities that are created have to really go first to the residents that live there. But the residents and tourists we spoke with were skeptical, to say the least. Terrible idea. Absolutely awful idea. People, this is a working class neighborhood. You really want people to come here and spend their salaries on casinos rather than rent? I don't like that kind of gambling. I feel like it's just going to start pushing people out because it's already getting a little expensive for people to just to be over here. You have to be thoughtful in terms of the community outreach approach. Uh, and we think the development team will do that. Thor Equities is the latest company to say they want a shot at one of the three casino licenses that will be granted by the state for the greater New York City region next year. Other potential locations include Times Square and near the development of a new Major League Soccer Stadium in Queens. State Senator Joseph Adabo Jr. explains. I know we have naysayers and I know we have those who fear the unknown with casinos, but most of the fears, most of the concerns can be addressed before even the uh, ribbon cutting.